Stylus is back at it again with some crazy new guns being added to Phantom Forces, this time an LMG, something we literally haven't seen since I think the MG3, but either way, it's been years regardless since we've seen a new LMG. And I'll tell you, this is probably the most unique weird and interesting gun ever added to the entire game and for some pretty cool reasons just take a nice good look at this gun this thing is super interesting from the pan magazine to the i hesitate to call that a stock and stats that really make me wonder what the heck is going on here so what do i mean by stats that make me wonder what the heck is going on here first of all let's just take a look at the damage right i'm gonna i'm gonna blur out everything else already it's like what are we doing here why is the damage so low now if i bring in the fire rate you're like okay something's going on here if i scoot you all the way down to ammo capacity uh uh, 161 round magazine. Now I bet you're all very interested. So, I mean, you know, I, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a couple things. I've got a couple of emotions that I'm feeling right about now. And some of those feelings involve excitement. So pretty much right off the bat, we've kind of got a bit of the no recoil setup. There's a little bit of jittering, a little bit of jittering, but I think we can all agree that for like 1450 RPM, that's a pretty close grouping that is currently untethering itself like a spider web. It don't even matter I'm missing. It don't even matter. I got infinite ammo, dude. So why exactly is the gun performing in the way that it is? Is this just something that's supposed to be weird or overpowered or whatever? Uh, not entirely, no. So if you look all the way down here, you can actually see that the ammo type is 22 long rifle. So you're talking basically a zip 22 that is an LMG that is fully automatic that has 161 round drum pan magazine thingy on the top of it let's actually go ahead and we'll throw on the uh the 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 the, the zip 22 so you can see here if i scroll all the way down as well this also has 22 long rifle so it's basically the lmg version of the zip 22 what a wacky concept let's throw some attachments on it there we go Steven wins again. I'm sure that there's some math that I can do to actually figure out how long it takes to run out of ammo but I i'm i'm not gonna do that let's just hold left click any minute now any minute now all right, that took uh, this many seconds. Now, of course, yes, you are getting the crazy high fire rate, but you still do have to land just about 10 shots at range to be able to actually get a kill. So I don't feel like this is actually super overpowered or anything like that because you can see it's pretty much like spraying someone with an airsoft gun at this point. Oh, we've got a triumphant man here really going down for the uh, BWC-9. God, I love the fact that this has so much ammo, dude. It makes it so easy to just suppress the entire team. Sorry, sorry, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. So speaking of damage range, uh, let's see. So starts dropping off at 40, goes down up to 120. So, I mean, there's really not too much of a damage difference. Like really, it's basically going to be the same amount of shots each time anyway. Each time that you try and get a kill, that is. Now, there is something actually about this that does make it a little bit better to try and use if you're just like, oh, I can't stand how low the damage is. And that is going to be the fact that it has a two times headshot multiplier. So you can basically double your damage. Of course, that means that you have to land all headshots and stuff. I get that. But with a fiery like that, hmm. Actually, a relatively kind of slow time to kill with 0.12. I know that still sounds really quick, but compared to some of the other guns. But you don't use this for its time to kill, though. You use it because it is a 161 round, 22 firing, pan drum, fully automatic Zip 22 LMG. I mean, honestly, in this day and age, what more could you ask for? Dang, bro, how many times did I have to hit that man? Reload time as well really isn't that bad. I mean, it is probably about two seconds or so. Bro, how many times do I have to hit you? All right, let's try what that dude was using. He was using ARS suppressor. Is that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Laser beam. Laser beam. I hear someone using the L2A3. What are you doing, bro? This is the test place. Use the silly fully auto zip 22. It's so satisfying, dude, just sitting there. And you can like hear all of the hit markers. Oh my God. I love to whenever the sound bugs out sometimes. It's not super often that you can hear it, but occasionally it like overlaps itself and then just goes quiet. That guy's using the AMT Terminator on this. All right, you know what we got to do. So will that actually, yeah, the pan goes through it, but that's okay. We don't need to worry about realism. Uh, Honestly, I'd rather just use a sight on this than the AMT Terminator, but. <laughs> oh my God, man. Uh, this is incredible. Nope, that, there's too many. There was like freaking four people looking at me down there. That was not going to work. <laughs> I actually didn't take a look at the unlock rank. I'm going to assume it's really high. Let me, yeah, 100. Whew. 
176. So it's definitely up there. I'll say that. The thing with this that I can say is, I know I've said before, and a lot of people still say it for some reason in my comments, but a lot of people say like, oh, this game is so pay to win because you have to buy guns that are better. But this is an example of like, this isn't like really good or anything like that. It's not like if you buy something that's this rank or this in particular, that you're going to immediately be like a better player. That, that That's just not how that works. But I do like the idea that some of the high rank weapons are actually going to be fairly unique. They added, what was it? The 5-0 the other day. I don't think that that's a very high level weapon. Oh, it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Yeah, okay. Well, that is a fairly high rank weapon. Anyway, and then this is a fairly high rank weapon. So it's like they're adding some unique stuff that's like not particularly crazy good or anything like that. It's just a goofy, wacky weapon. I'm gonna have to put a scope on this, dude. <laughs> There's no way. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's throw on a... Uh... <laughs> yes, put on the G11 scope. Dude, it looks... Oh, just jump in my crosshair, I guess. What's that? A bunch of bullets are flying in front of my face. Let me jump right into it. I don't know why people like doing that so much. Anyway, uh, recoil is very chaotic with this. Come on. Come on. No way I just got that kill. <laughs> No way he sat there long enough, dude. I wonder what the suppression is on this, because I can't imagine if that many rounds are flying at you that they can have a high suppression. Because, like, that would just make games, like, way too chaotic. Dude, I'm already on, like, a freaking four kill streak right now. I'm just sitting here holding left click. This thing is so, like, oh my god. <laughs> what is happening right now, dude? It's okay, I'm a master of this weapon. No way, he picked it up. He picked it up and he's using it now. Oh no, they know the method. Like a scope on this makes it actually really, really effective at range. Like, I mean, it's not gonna be a DMR, obviously. But with its low recoil, dude, it just sits there, mostly. No, I'm actually a little bit surprised because this is, I think the only LMG that doesn't have like its own alt aim where it's like, you can kind of fire it from the hip. Dude, getting headshots with this is so easy. It literally makes it where it's like a five shot to the head at range, which is normally crazy dumb for literally any other gun, but 1450 RPM, bruh. Literally in the blink of an eye. <laughs> you know, normally I hate using scopes on fully automatic weapons in this game, but this is this is definitely the exception to the rule there. I'm gonna walk away now. Let's see what other scopes there are that I could try on this. Um, <laughs> Global offensive scope, yes, yes. CSGO offers be like. And I ranked up too, thank god. It's just the test place, obviously. I don't think I said that, so it's not actually ranking up, but like, <laughs> this is too good. This is like too good. Not in like a like an overpowered kind of way. Just in like a like a freaking wacky goofy ah kind of way, you know? Now I wonder if there's a is there a full stock for this? There's a foldable stock. Why? So there's no like extra like wooden attachment or anything like that that I can throw on this that would maybe stabilize it a bit better, which is, you know, fine, it's whatever. But it would be interesting to see, and I'm sure probably one of you already has it, where there's like a setup that just literally has no like side to side recoil like this. Cuz if there is a setup like that, this immediately becomes like actually a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as if it's not a little bit of a problem already. Dude, I'm I'm having too much fun. I don't know. I'm actually, like, having a good time with this. Oh, great. Now they're copying the global offensive scope. Fantastic. I'm actually surprised at how much fun I was having with this. Like, I knew that it was going to be all right just from the fire rate and everything. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to end up enjoying this. All right, hold on. Ready? 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 Yeah. This thing is sick, dude. Oh, yes. Wait, I know that thing. <laughs> but actually, like, sitting down and using it, dude. Like, this is something that I'm actually going to really enjoy once they add it to the main game. Fantastic, dude. Absolutely fantastic. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I have. If you learned something new, make sure to subscribe and like the video as well to help act as a sacrifice for the algorithm gods. If you want to as well, you can become a channel member with the link in the description below. It allows you to be able to get access to a bunch of emojis and a cool little badge by your name for as low as a dollar a month. It'd help greatly support the channel. And a big thanks to all the channel members up on screen right now. If you'd also like to binge watch some Phantom Forces videos, I have a playlist of all of mine up on screen here. So make sure to check those out. Definitely worth the binge session. So the binge, binge, binge session. I speak English. Subscribe for more. Oh, come here and see. Yeah, I'm coming. Hold up. And I'm dead. <laughs>